The House of Representatives has urged the federal government and state governments as well to provide comprehensive reforms of the country's correctional system, including modernizing custodial centers, building new facilities, and redesigning the bail system. This followed a motion sponsored by Honorable Chinedu Oga on the urgent call to decongest Nigerian correctional services. Presenting the motion, the lawmaker worried that over 70,000 inmates in the country face inadequate facilities despite government's efforts, and some have not been charged with criminal cases, while some are unable to pay the fines imposed by the courts despite their cases determined. Also disturbed that the data system revealed that federal offenders comprise the less than 10% in the correction system inmate leaving over 90% to the state offenders, alarming that overcrowding of the correction facilities has led to the hog revenue drains of the successive government, leading to the prison dislocated criminal and inability of the separate awaiting trials inmates for, from convicted ones. Concerned that the implementing of the criminal justice system, that the adoption of non-custodial measure would effectively reduce the overcrowding of the nation prison. In another development, the Federal Ministry of Health was urged to develop prescription policy that must be enforced to curb indiscriminate sale of drugs and lack of adherence to prescription policy in Nigeria. A motion sponsored by Honorable Adamu Ibrahim Gamawa noted the lack of a prescription policy on drug and indiscriminate drug sales by pharmacists, patent medicine dealers and street vendors staffed by unqualified personnel, which ultimately leads to antibiotic resistance and drug abuse. The motion also notes that according to the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria, there is a frightening surge in the issue of drug abuse and misuse in Nigeria, with drug use prevalence statistics at 14.4% of productive age in Nigeria, that is 15 to 65 years of age, which is almost three times the global drug use prevalence of 5.5 percent. Also aware that various empirical studies show that drug abuse is a significant facilitator of extremism, terrorism, violent crimes, and high school dropout, which negatively affecting community health, security, stability, according to consumer ethics, consumer studies. Cognizant that if urgent actions are not taken to declare a state of emergency and allocate resources to the identification of drug abuse response and treatment, a national catastrophe of unimaginable dimension is in the office. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.